All right guys, Jordan Brashears here. Today we're gonna to go through a pack dump. So basically a little mini episode of what's in your pack. This is my day pack setup. Uh, it's an Eberly Sock F1 mainframe with a J bag on it. It's a dry J bag. And then I have the satchel. So most of my content is here. Easy to offload and easy to put together for a quick stock. So I have, I'll go through that in a second. And then of course I have my spotter. I typically don't carry the tripod unless I don't have a filmer. So filmer carries the tripod and I'll use that or I'll run off my pack. If I'm solo, I'll put a tripod on here as well. And then we'll break this down. You have our three straps to hold everything on. I keep one trekking pole with me in case I come out heavy. And then real simple in here. This dry bag weighs next to nothing and it keeps everything from getting wet if it rains. But I just have some basic necessities for all weather hunting, which anything in the West ends up being all weather. So I have my puffy, which anytime from about yeah, September on, we're gonna be running with this in the morning during a storm or for days sometimes when we get a big snowstorm, you never really know. So it's light, it's compact, easy to get in. And then I have a rain coat. I don't carry the pants, don't wanna carry the extra weight. This will keep my upper 60% dry and that will do the trick. If my legs get wet, I'll build a fire and dry off. And I have two water bottles in here. And make sure that's everything, game bags. Here's my game bags. So this is the rough outline of it. Bugle is gonna be on me, binoculars are gonna be on me. I'm gonna have a base layer and I'm gonna have a sh light shell. And depending on the weather, I'll change that, that get up. And then this, as you saw how it was strapped on the top of my pack, drops really easy. I can throw it on, adjust the waist and go. And I can be on a stock for hours and not have to come back to my pack. So I have food in here, water in here, and all the other essentials in here. We'll go through that. And this is the, the guts of it. One water bottle, first aid kit, and my gloves, which a lot of times will be on if I'm in the morning. Otherwise they're there. I have a headlamp with the next two extra batteries something you don't see real often anymore, old school compass. I always like to have the bare necessities and if techno technology fails, that's not gonna. Um, I actually had that happen a couple of seasons ago with my boy and storm socked us in and we couldn't get our GPS's to work, but this isn't gonna fail you. Uh, extra P cord, paracord for whatever you might need. Always gonna have my outdoor edge with extra blades. And one thing that I do with that is I always carry an outdoor edge and I have one in my pack. Um, usually I can give one to the camera guy or I can use one for caping, one for cutting meat and boning out, you name it. That works really well that way. Uh, chow pal, it's just a day trip, but I'll show you what I use it for here in a second. When we get into the food, I have a little bit of tenacious tape. So if I tear into my puffy and lose them down everywhere, I can fix it. It's also there for when I have a sleeping bag go out. I have a quick sharpener for the uh, outdoor edge so you can keep using it. Archer's Allen wrench gets everything on my bow. I can adjust with this. If you end up with a loose sight or quiver, you name it, rest, you can tighten it back up and you're not out of your hunt. Then I have a little jet lighter. I really like these. They seem to light more consistently than your standard lighter does. And anytime I have, I don't bring fire starter with me. I just find tinder. Uh, I like I like to use the red pine or red red boughs, anything like that. Um, 
moss, if I can find any moss, pitch balls, that kind of stuff. So it's lighter, not carrying a fire starter. I have a little bit of D loop in here for my bow. Um, that's gonna keep, I mean, I've never had it happen, but I've heard horror stories of your D loop getting chewed on or cut. And it, I mean, it's simple fix in the field. So why not have a micro stretch of string so you can do a D loop. For all of us who are getting touch older, ibuprofen, not in a bottle, so it doesn't make rattle noises. If you get sore and you feel like that's getting ahead of you, I got that. There, I don't think I said it yet. Always have electrical tape. Then I have my outdoor edge knife. It's your straight or I have the gutting version here, so you can have your gut zipper. And something I like to do, some of you might not know about this little trick, is have the ability to change this blade for one of these long blades. You can't fold it, but you can still use it and get in there when you're boning out the rear quarters especially. It's a really nice way to break down the meat and uh, just a little trick that I like to use. And it fits in this nice sheath here. It won't cut anything. It's light and compact. It stays out of the way. And that just about gets us through the basic contents. This is the nuts and bolts. But I also have the food here. So this little pouch on the back, which I just attached to the satchel. So it's just one of the Everly stocks accessory bags. Open this top zipper up. I have my extra mouth diaphragms. So if I need one of them blown out or I want to change different tones there, I have backups. And then this primary compartment, I have my food. So for like, once again, this is just day hunting. So a couple good protein bars. I really like these builder bars by Cliff. Taste good and have a lot of nutrition and high calorie count, the MRE bars. Don't taste near as good, but they work. Personal favorite is the Lara bars. Um, the lemon and the apple pie taste awesome. And they're one, as high calorie as anything. These guys are 200 calories, compact, quick energy. Um, the honey stingers, another really good source of just fast energy, high sugar, 140 calories. This thing, I don't know if it says on here, they weigh like nothing. I mean, it's a couple ounces. Um, <clears throat> for high protein, I carry tuna. I keep one or two of these in there. 2.6 ounces, 70 calories, and it has this has uh, 15 grams of protein in it. So it gets you some of that, I just killed something, I need to get back out. Make sure you don't feel achy the next day. And then... I do a little zip fizz bottle. I can throw this in to one of here, one of these guys, and I have energy. So that's got 100 grams of caffeine in it, and uh, tastes good, keeps you going. That's my food. And then if I, you guys are thinking, oh well, you got three little water bottles. How does that work? <clears throat> I carry the purific purification tablets. So they're simple to use. It is kind of a pain. So if I have an option, I'll I'll usually carry five or six of these but 30 minutes and I have drinkable water. So as long as you have two, you can put a tablet in there. The directions are on them. They're really simple, lightweight. They stay in my back of my pouch here and we do use them. It's something that I keep in there. That all fits in there, light system. And then when I kill something, we have the, the J system here. I can unzip my dry bag and I slide a quarter in here and I can come out with a quarter. So it really works awesome. I'm not gonna do the whole thing for you right now, but you'll get the point as soon as I get this thing unzipped. I can slip the front shoulder on here or I could take out the back straps, tenderloins and some roast meat for the first trip back, put all this back on top, get my trekking pole out and it's probably still strap my bow to my pack and get back to camp. And then I'll, then I'll roll from there with heavy, heavy hauls and leave all this stuff behind. So that's kind of the long and the short of it. 
Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. I'm sure there, everybody has different twist to what they do. This is just my simple, just go from the truck or the trailhead style hunting accessory kit. And uh, we can maybe go over another three day or four day one here in the future, but that's all I got for now.